Carnival 2020 will feature significant changes, namely an earlier cutoff time for festivities on Carnival Tuesday and a ban on glass bottles. At Thursday's post-cabinet media briefing, National Security Minister Stuart Young said the changes are intended to help make the celebrations even safer. Janine Brown reports. An earlier finish time moving from midnight on Carnival Tuesday to 9 p.m. National Security Minister Stuart Young says he intends to make the change for Carnival 2020 and adds it's in hope of lessening the chance for criminal activity. No one will lose out. It provides for more safety and security. It assists us with traffic because one of the things we're always conscious of is getting people in and out of Port of Spain back to their homes in a safe and secure manner. And if we close off at 9 o'clock on a Tuesday night of Carnival, it just allows for more of that flow. Those three-hour periods will not be lost. And when we look at the statistics, that is actually where a lot of criminal activity takes place for a variety of reasons. Concerning the other proposed change, banning glass bottles, Minister Young lamented the fact that the festival goers often resort to using the bottles as weapons, thus posing serious danger. In terms of rolling out the measure, he intends to engage manufacturers. So when we are done an analysis, it really comes down to the bare bottles. So presumably it would be engaging those who manufacture, bear in Trinidad and Tobago, or package it, etc., to tell them, look, well in advance of Carnival 2020, see if you can increase your, your packaging into cans, which happens everywhere. The proposed ban on glass bottles for Carnival is in no way a new idea. In 2012, then Mayor of Port of Spain, Louis Leasing, urged the Cabinet's intervention to ban the use of glass bottles during the Carnival season. This ban, as well as the early end time for Carnival outlined by the Minister, will require an amendment to legislation, specifically the Carnival regulations. Janine Brown, TTT News.